For the third day in a row, the Chambersburg Area School District closed today. School District officials say it's because of what they're calling ongoing service interruptions. Fox 43's Harry Lee investigates what caused the disruption and what impact it could have for students and parents. Less than a week into the new school year, Chambersburg area schools are closed. The district website says it is, quote, experiencing a temporary network disruption affecting the operability of certain computer systems and that it's looking into what happened. Cybersecurity expert Angel Kern says there's one likely answer, a ransomware attack. Ransomware is particularly nasty. If you lose access to your systems, you cannot teach, you cannot access your systems to teach, you know. So it's not surprising. At least 120 school districts have been victims of a ransomware attack so far this year, according to cybersecurity firm Recorded Future. Many schools store sensitive data, such as student social security numbers and medical records on those systems. If a hacker has control of those servers, of course they have access to that data. Concerned parents called for answers at a school board meeting Tuesday evening. I'm just wondering why we're not saying what is actually going on, because I have friends that work in the school, di the school district. And they said that the systems got hacked. And if you go onto the Sapphire, my children's names, their pictures, their address, my phone number on there, they know everything. This could be someone that isn't just hacking social security numbers for getting credit cards made in children's names. They could be pedophiles. Still, cybersecurity experts say it's not worth panicking. Look at all the hacks and ransomware attacks. Your data is probably already out there. With that in mind, Kern advises everyone to check their bank and credit card accounts regularly and freeze their credit with all three credit reporting agencies. Harry Lee, Fox 43 News. And as of this hour, school district officials have not said whether buildings will reopen for students tomorrow.